Well, Paul and Jess, tragic doesn't even begin to describe what happened along this roadway here. As you can see, the debris left behind. The parents of the children involved are beyond devastated. And sadly, this area is where lives were changed forever. Katana was a joy in all of us. No matter what, she'll always be our joy. And that's the feeling 13 year old Katana Richie's mom and dad are desperately trying to hold on to. She loved life. She loved everybody. She always smiled. Her young life cut short early this morning after a police chase and crash. And then they snuck out of my house and met up with them at Walmart. OHP says from there, the driver, Katana, and three of their friends, all 14 and under, hit the road. A police officer tried to pull them over for a traffic violation, but the driver didn't stop. His mom talked to us about it. He was scared. He said he didn't mean to miss the stoplight. And he saw the lights behind him, and he just... He was so scared. He didn't want to get locked up. He's being held now. This was him in court, telling us his troubled past is likely the reason he didn't stop the car. We're told he hit the curb here, rolled the car, and three of the five kids were ejected. The two girls died. We're pretty sick, we're pretty upset, heartbroken, just trying to figure it all out. Neither one of those girls deserved to die. This was unfair, and I am so, so sorry. Now, we did speak to the DA today. He couldn't give us any information on charges or possible charges or what happened in court because of the driver's age. As for the others who were injured, they were taken to the hospital. They did survive. In Woodward tonight, Mecca Rain, KOCO 5 News.